What's up, you guys? Obviously, this is not a normal video. <laughs> I don't even know how much time I have. If I disappear, it was Derek Barry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. In all seriousness though, I really don't know what the future of my YouTube channel is going to be like. I just got today my very first copyright strike on my channel. The claim was made by Viacom and they are claiming that I infringed copyright in one of my review videos from season 12 of Drag Race. Specifically, it was my episode five video. As you guys know, I make Drag Race review videos. Usually I'm in drag and I'm providing critique commentary, criticism on the episode and how the queens performed in the episode. I'm not the first person to do this. There are tons of YouTubers who do this. So it blows my mind that I, I got a strike for this from Viacom. I don't know, maybe they're just doing some kind of like crackdown, but at most I use a little bit of runway footage as visual aid in my videos. There are people on YouTube that get away with posting entire reaction videos to episodes of TV shows. Like they, they literally just like upload the entire TV show with them reacting to it, yet their channels are just fine. So I don't know what crack Viacom or YouTube is smoking out there, but I'm making this video to let you guys know that this happened. If I get a second strike, apparently it means that I can't post anything for two weeks. If I get a third strike, my channel is gone. It's just, it's gone. Uh, Bussy Queen YouTube will be terminated. Everything online says basically if that happens, there's no future for me on YouTube, which really sucks because I feel like I was just getting started. I really love making content. I really love creating stuff. Um, so it's really sad for me. I'm going to continue to plan to keep making content, but potentially using the logic they used to strike that video that they put a strike on, like they could just strike all of my videos. And it is fair use, but like YouTube does not ever interfere in these types of things. They basically just provide a mechanism for the copyright holder and the disputer to handle the claim. It's obviously completely unrealistic that I would ever be able to take on Viacom in, in a court setting, obviously, you know? So it's just like, if they wanna go in and strike three of my videos for, for using a little bit of like visual aid, which is supposedly protected by fair use in my commentary and critique videos, that's their prerogative. Uh, I'm going to, not let this kill me as a creator. If this is the last thing that I can ever post to YouTube because overnight they decide to strike two or more of my videos and I'm just like done, kaput, forever, I will tr keep creating content. Um, I'll just move over to Patreon and Vimeo, but there's just not enough money there to 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 back up the amount of work that I that I put into my videos, the amount of effort and hours. I spend usually eight to 10 hours getting into drag, filming a video, and then usually another eight hours editing a video, uploading it, doing SEO, thumbnails, all that stuff. So a typical video could be anywhere from 16 to 20 hours of work. And while I love doing that, like I love creating content, like that's something I want to keep doing. And, you know, especially doing these review videos, I feel like I'm really hitting my stride with these. And I feel like, you know, I'm really like resonating with a lot of y'all. And thank you so much for all of your support that has been uh, behind this channel. I can't express my gratitude enough. I don't know what the future is of this channel is going to be like, but if you want to stay tuned on my journey and I disappear from YouTube, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Patreon. You can actually follow me on Patreon without uh, joining one of the tiers. And I'm gonna try to keep you guys updated on those platforms. But again, the powers at B uh, may decide that YouTube is not the place where Bussy Queen will exist. So I'm gonna end this on a positive note and say that my plan is to continue business as usual and wait for this dispute to end. And I don't want to pay gate all of my content. I wouldn't be able to have the amazing audience that I do if everything is pay gated. There's just no way that I could justify making these videos 
uh, with only the Patreon money that I have right now, it's just not enough because it really is that combined with the YouTube ad revenue combined with the occasional sponsorship that I get that helps me justify the huge amount of hours that I put into making these videos. So I guess, uh, Let's say a little little prayer to the to the YouTube gods. We'll see what happens with this dispute, and we will hope that we do not wake up with a hundred more strikes in the morning. Because if I do, then Bussy Queen will be gone. So thank you as always for watching and supporting me. I appreciate you all. Love you. Hope to see you soon.